Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are on to day two of the Living Well for Less series where we'll be shopping well for less. shopping being an essential part of our lives and with trends that come and go every few months we would all like to know how we can shop well for less how we can make the most of our money five clothing items jacket t-shirt jeans shoes shoes and a hat pure essentials then we'll be comparing these items in three different clothing stores so one high-end one mid-end and one low-end to figure out which is the best value for money. Now we're gonna be comparing price, quality, and overall value. And the three stores being Zara, high-end, H&M, mid-end, and Primark, low-end. But even that is on a spectrum of affordability. First up, Zara, let's go. So now the cheapest trouser I can find in Zara was $25.99 for blue skinny jeans. Now it was decent quality and a good fit, so no complaints there. Now I went for a basic t-shirt, the cheapest, for £12.99. It fit me well, no complaints. The cheapest hat, $15.99. The cheapest shoe was $29.99. And now we're on to jackets. I found a jacket for $32.99 for a medium it wasn't too bad green in color and that was the cheapest i could find in the store 32.99 isn't too bad now the overall spend in zara for the most basic t-shirt basic jeans basic jacket basic hat and basic shoes came to 115 pounds that is a whopping price next up h&m Now this is mid-end, so I'm expecting fairly economical prices. Now surprisingly, the cheapest trousers I could find in H&M was $24.99. It was also a slim fit jeans, denim blue. Now the cheapest t-shirt on the other hand, £6.99, happy days. I'm happy with that, no complaints there. Now the jacket was $24.99, decent quality, decent fit, decent price, happy days. The most basic shoe, $17.99 and they look like a Converse remake. $17.99 for a shoe isn't too bad. Now for hats, we found one for £6.99. Now overall spend for H&M mid-end came up to £82 for a complete fit. Now we're on to Primark, the cheapest of them all. cheapest t-shirt I found at Zara was £2 but that was for a large. It didn't fit well so I wanted to give them the best opportunity in this comparison. So I went for a slightly higher price, £3.50 for a nice slim fit t-shirt. Next up I found jeans denim for £10. Now like the t-shirt I couldn't find slim fit for that price. The slip fit was slightly higher, $14.99, but I stuck to £10. It looked good, it fit well, it felt great. I found a hat for £2.50. Unfortunately, it was green. I couldn't find black or blue or any other colours. Basic shoes at Primark, £6. They look slightly similar to the ones at H&M. They look fairly sturdy as well. They look like they'll last you a fair bit. And then lastly, a jacket for 15 pound. Now this jacket, I have to say, I completely enjoyed. It looked great on me, it was the right fit, and the quality wasn't too bad. And our total overall spend for low-end Primark came to 37 pound 
for a complete fit. Now that is a bargain and a half. And I can't complain at all. The clothes were decent, they were decent quality. The fit was decent. The colors, the look overall was decent. So now you're probably thinking, well, those are different quality products anyways. So you'd expect a different price for them. And granted, that's a valid point. So next, we're going to find similar clothing items from different stores at a different price point. Reason being, sometimes different clothing brands use the same manufacturers or suppliers for their clothing, but sell them at different price points in relation to their brand identity and value. Like Zara and Pull&Bear, for example, which belong to the same index group, which is a textile manufacturer that owns a number of brands, including those two. So now we're gonna have a look in them and see if we can find the same clothing, but at different price points. All right, so I've had a look and I managed to find a shirt at Pull&Bear for $27.99. And then we had a look at Zara, found the exact same shirt, same design, same style, down to a T for $29.99. Now don't get me wrong, that's only a two pound saving, but across the board, it all adds up. And by the time you can match all your shopping items at a different store, and obviously for a cheaper price, then you're saving money. To conclude, if you're not so worried about the brand's name and value on your t-shirt, then you're better off shopping at mid to low end stores because you get better quality product and still at a cheaper price than the high end stores standard slash basic product, which are more expensive and have less quality. A high end store has premium and standard products. A low end store has premium and standard products. The low end store's premium products has better quality and cheaper than the high-end store's standard product, which is what most people go for, just to be able to say they have a high-end store's brand name on their clothing. So now with that, and with the help of some mobile apps and some basic research, you should be able to save yourself a lot of money shopping well for less. My name is Toa Courage, and that right there was The Hack. See you in the next one. Peace.